So Mi UI has to be one of the most popular Android platforms out there. I mean, especially in India where Xiaomi is the leading smartphone brand, it's crazy popular. Now we all know that Mi UI is feature packed, packs in a lot of cool tricks. But when I was using the Poco X2 for a full review, I found that there are a number of key settings that you should change right away to enhance your experience. Now, I will be telling you seven Mi UI settings you should change, but at the end, I'll be running down quickly a lot of other settings. So make sure to watch this video till the very end. Now, let's get started. Okay, I know Poco Launcher has an app drawer, but phones like the Redmi Note 8 Pro, Redmi 8, and a lot of other Redmi phones come with the usual Mi UI launcher that does not have an app drawer. So you're probably wondering, how do you enable it when it's not exactly there? Well, the good news is MIUI Launcher's Alpha Build has an app drawer built in. So what you can do is just install this build on your phone. The link is down below. And when you have installed it, you can enable the app drawer. Just go to home screen settings like this. Here you should find this new home screen option. And as you can see, it features a setting to enable the app drawer. Well, I can just turn it on and it's here, the app drawer. I know it's a lot like the Poco Launcher's app drawer, but I'm just glad it's here on MIUI Launcher. Goodbye messed up home screens. Oh, there's one more feature in the home screen settings that you should probably enable. This blur app previews. This basically blurs out the app in the multitasking page. So you can maybe blur out the gallery so that when you hand over the phone to that creepy someone, they don't see anything from the recent screen. It's pretty handy. Look, we all know about ads in MIUI and the fact that you can disable it, but recently a tweet was going around that showed really weird ads in MIUI's browser app. Well, I checked it out on the Poco X2 and indeed, look at this. This is bad reading. I mean, how could Xiaomi be okay with this? So if you use the MIUI browser and hate seeing these, you can turn it off. Just go to the browser settings here and you can see this option called content feed, right? Well, just turn it off and that's it. All the weird recommendation content, it's gone. The browser is clean and nice and you can start using it without having to go through any of these cringe-worthy content. Also, while you're at it, you can check out our article to remove all the ads in MIUI from the link below. So I remember when I first tried out MIUI 11, the latest update, I was really impressed with the whole new refreshed UI, the revamped app, the animations. But one thing that really stood out for me was the new font. So as you can see here from our older MIUI 11 video, MIUI 11 had a brand new font, which looks very cool. But this was the Chinese ROM of MIUI 11. The MIUI 11 update in India does not bring this font. You get the same font you had with the older MIUI versions. Well, the good news is the MIUI 11 font is available in the Theme Store. So you can just go to Themes app on your Xiaomi device. Now here, go to the Fonts page and search for Milan Pro. Yeah, that's the name of the font. Now just apply this font, which will require a reboot, but trust me, the MIUI 11 native font just makes the UI look way more modern and just really nice. I like it. Now one privacy issue I have noticed in Android is the fact that anyone can access the quick settings from the lock screen. And yeah, think about it. Anyone can go ahead and put your phone into airplane mode or, you know, turn off GPS even if your phone is locked. This could be bad if your phone is stolen. Well, thankfully, there's an option in MIUI 11 that fixes this. So just go to the settings here, go to the notifications and tap on the first option here, lock screen notifications. Well, here you can see this option, open notification shade on lock screen. Just turn it off and well, no one can access the notification shade if your phone is locked now. Yeah, this is an important option enabled, so go ahead, do it. So emergency SOS is an important setting in MIUI that you should change right away. I mean, this is a feature that's going to be super useful in emergency situations. So yeah, check it out. So this basically lets you send an SOS text message with your location and call history to your chosen emergency contact by just rapidly pressing the power button. It's very useful. So yeah, you should enable it. Now you'll find the emergency SOS option in settings, passwords and security. Here, just turn it on after which it'll ask you to at least add one emergency contact. Do note that you can add multiple emergency contacts. Anyway, once you've added a contact, it will be enabled. There's also this send call history option that you should enable just in case. Honestly, you never know when you land up in an emergency. So yeah, enable this right away. So this is a super handy MIUI option that has been right in front of me, but I've kind of missed out on it. 
See, I'm talking about the ability to set a countdown for DND and silent. So here's how it works. So in the volume panel, you can just press the three dot button, which lets you control volume for ringer and alarm, along with an option to turn on do not disturb or put your phone on silent mode. Now, the interesting thing here is if you turn on DND or silent from this panel, you get this countdown button. So say I wanted to put my phone on silent for just around an hour. I can set this countdown to one hour and after this countdown runs out, the silent mode will be turned off. How awesome is that? Yeah, that is super handy. So this MIUI setting is exclusively for Redmi K20 and K20 Pro users and I'm talking about fingerprint shortcuts. So what this feature does is it lets you access some shortcuts via the fingerprint scanner like this. Yeah, I can just hold the fingerprint scanner and access the QR code scanner, the browser search or add an event in the calendar. So here's how to turn this on. Just go to settings, here go to passwords and security and here tap on fingerprint unlock. Now in this page, you can see this shortcuts option, right? Well, this is it. Just go ahead, turn it on. Now just choose the press and hold option or the quick swipe option. I prefer press and hold. So now I can just press hold on the scanner and get these shortcuts. Yeah, it's handy, but it'd be even better if you could add your own customized shortcuts on it. So yeah, MIUI 12, take note. Now, apart from these settings that I just talked about, there are a number of other cool and useful MIUI settings that you should check out right now. Now, let me just quickly run them down for you. First up in the phone app settings and here, the incoming call settings, I really like this option of quiet ringer when lifted. Well, turn it on and the next time you get a call and you lift your phone, the phone will go silent. I wasn't aware of this feature, it's great. Oh, and by the way, here you can also set the calls to answer automatically when a Bluetooth headset is connected. Yeah, this used to come in super handy during my Pulsar days. Next up in the notes app, just go to the tasks tab and here go to settings where you'll find this task toolbox feature. Just enable this and it will activate this. Yeah, a cool tasks page that is accessible from any page, any app. You can see all your tasks, add a new one. You can even add a voice task. Yes, it's pretty awesome. Lastly, you can download this MIUI hidden settings app to access some, well, hidden settings for MIUI. There are a lot of cool settings to play with here and you can see here that this app lets you access the notification log, which I'm sure some people will find handy. Now, apart from this, there are a lot of other MIUI settings that you should check out and we have a detailed article on the same. So go ahead, check it out. Well, those were some MIUI settings that you should be changing right now to really enhance your MIUI experience. Anyway, is there any other setting that I kind of missed out on? Let us know in the comment section below so that everyone knows. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends who use Xiaomi devices or Poco devices. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.